Hi there, I'm Carl Brooks, Business Transformation Coach. Now, four years ago, my mentor taught me something that really changed my business forever. It also changed my life and how I think and approach people when I'm talking about my work, but also how I literally present myself at networking events and around the world. The thing that, what I love about this particular insight the most is that it really changed my perception about how I introduce myself how I attract the right clients to want to reach out to me, but also how I create effective marketing and compelling advertising that really speaks to the hearts and the minds of my clients. What is that thing? Well, it's not what you think. Many of the, the reasons that we get into business is because we want to teach our expertise and our experiences to our clients, particularly as a coach, as a thought leader, I find quite a lot of the time that my business is taken up maybe about 60% of the time teaching what I know, you know, revealing my secrets and learnings from the last 10 years in business. But the one thing that is the most important is not so much teaching people how to do things, but actually this one secret that I learned from my coach. And that is to inspire, inspire your clients to become better people, to improve the quality of their life. That's at the heart of your messaging and your communication. Get that right and the clients will wanna sign up with you and work with you or buy your programs. Get it wrong and they're gonna think that you now you're just trying to teach things and coming from a place of ego and role model and you're not going to be able to, to differentiate yourself from all the other coaches and uh, entrepreneurs out there who are also just teaching their client stuff that everybody actually knows what to do. Because here's the second part to this secret. Many of your clients and customers already know what they want and how to do it, but they actually have a hard time actually getting it done and implementing. And that's why it's so important to inspire them to improve their thinking about their capability and what they can actually achieve for themselves and to motivate them to become better people so that they can take what they already know and actually implement and get results. So my question to you today is what's coming up for you listening to this? How are you teaching your clients and customers and in what ways are you inspiring them to believe in themselves, to take what they know and actually to change their thought processes so that they can be better clients or even better entrepreneurs. Whatever it is, I want you to really review your marketing and see where you are teaching and where you are inspiring. And my recommendation is that you turn your marketing and all of the value that you give your audience into 80% inspiring them to improve the quality of their life and to become better people, and 20% the actual teachings from your pay programs or whatever it is that you do to earn revenue with your business. Interesting stuff, huh? It's not about teaching, it's about inspiring. And one of the best methods to inspire your clients is through storytelling. Now, real life stories from your own experience, from your own expertise, from your own journey, or sharing some of the stories from your clients and customers, obviously getting, uh, getting their permission to share those stories. But still, storytelling is the oldest way and most effective way of inspiring your clients and getting them to work with you. The other reason for this, of course, is that we as children are programmed to tune in to storytelling. And we all know those famous four words that every story begins with, once upon a time. And when we, when we use that and use that in our storytelling, obviously perhaps replacing once upon a time with how I began today's conversation. Well, a few years ago, I learned this from my coach. This is the way, the most effective way to inspire your clients and your customers and even your audience to take the next steps. That's really gonna help them to get results. So look at your own messaging, look at your own marketing, look at how you show up to your audience and how are you bringing storytelling into your messaging? Could you do more storytelling? Think about that for a second. What if you changed your messaging around? What if you focused 80% on sharing experiences and stories rather than just your expertise and teaching them things? 
I'd love to hear from you what your insights and aha moments are from this video today. As always, come down to the comments. I'd love to see you there. And of course, if you know a family member or a friend who might appreciate today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you send them this link or indeed invite them, invite them into my public Facebook group, Best Self Society. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.